remembered me from such videos as homemade hot and sour soup, building my very first PC, and more recently, knocking down the house, House Flipper episode eight. But today, lo and behold, I'm back in the kitchen, which means there is another cooking video coming for you. Okay, it's not really cooking. I've been watching TikTok, I know. I know, okay? It's addicting. Like, I, I'm this close to actually deleting the app because for the life of me, my brain refuses to go to bed at night. And instead of like slowly winding down, it gets to the point where it's almost ready for bed. And then I say, you know what? Let's just check out like 10 TikToks. For those of you who also are on TikTok know that that's a damn lie that you tell yourself every single time. And before you know it, it's almost midnight. You've been scrolling TikTok for two hours and you regret all of your life choices. But one of the videos on TikTok is the delicious looking whipped coffee, okay? Now it got me. I was like, you know what? I know that there's a whole heap of like trending things to like fake products, like, oh, check out this. And then it's a different product in the end. This one caught my attention though. Because using my big brain and my knowledge of some food, I was like, this might actually work. This could work. So I thought to myself, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do it. So lo and behold, that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to whip some coffee. Well, trying to whip coffee. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna cross our fingers, cross our toes, and you guys can't see that cross our toes and whip some coffee. For anyone curious, this is the video in question. It, um, there's that many people doing it at the moment. I'm not sure who the original creator is. So I do apologize that I may not be actually sourcing the original creator of it. So apologies, I'm sorry. Please enjoy while we wait for the, bo the boil to kettle. Mm -hmm. Before, while, while we wait for the boil to kettle. I used white sugar in this, so that's what I've been using, but you might be able to use other sugar. I haven't tested it. Some instant coffee, a spoon, a whisk. Now I've got a bone to pick with the people that have previously done this. On TikTok, it seems, okay, that people were doing this for like 20 minutes with a spoon. Use your big brain, peoples. I'm sure you've got whisks. Don't fucking try and whisk stuff with a spoon. That's silly. And some hot water. Now, according to my calculations, which I couldn't find an exact recipe on this, it's equal parts coffee, sugar, water. Big old spoon of coffee. Big old spoon of sugar. Maybe a smidge more. Now, I'm just going to let that sit a minute. Sit a minute. Try and let some of the sugar dissolve. Try and let some of the coffee do its thing. Just give it a little bit of a stir. Try and break up any lumps of coffee that you see. Now you just gotta, um, in the wise words of a TikTok chef, whiskey business. Um, this is gonna be very loud, so I'm gonna cut the audio of me whisking because it is not fun. That's literally formed. Firm peaks. Like, that is meringue. This would be fucking delicious with so many desserts. Okay, like, that is straight up firm. Like, look at that. It kind of looks like it could be peanut butter. <laughs> I was trying to describe it to somebody the other day. I'm like, it kind of looks like marshmallow fluff. It's a little bit sticky like marshmallow fluff because of the sugar, obviously. But it, it's also like a really nice meringue. I'm wondering what would happen if I cooked it. Surely it'd just melt. Yeah, surely it'd just melt. First up, get yourself a fancy glass. Then you want to get some ice. Lots and lots of ice. Like, maybe take it too far with the ice. Better to have too much than too little. Top it with the milk of your choice. It definitely does not have to be dairy milk. And then you're just going to want to smear that delicious coffee whip all over the top. Put it on there. Smear it around the glass. Smear. Just smear it, you know, because that's such a nice word to say. And then you want to mix it until it's like half combined. You kind of want it to still look cool. You want that nice thick coffee whip at the top. But I swear to God, mm, it is so good. Okay, 
Does it look the prettiest thing in the world? No. I don't know how to make drinks look pretty, okay? It's my one weakness. Don't come for me. But this is the beauty, the grace that is whipped coffee, okay? It doesn't look like anything substantial, but I swear to God, it's like... Once it all gets mixed together, it makes it similar to like a milkshake consistency, like nice and thick, like it's a bit whipped. Oh my God, no way. Obviously, you can substitute whatever milk you'd like for this, but I'm gonna go sit out in the sunshine. I'm gonna bring these with me and we're gonna enjoy this together. Well, obviously I'm not in the direct sunshine here, but that doesn't bother me, my toes are, okay? That is enough. I wanna tip it so you guys can see the top. Like it is, it is so thick. It's obviously mixed a little bit now. It was so delicious. It's like the perfect amount of coffee for an iced coffee. I just realized I've almost finished it in like under a minute. This is a problem. I mean, you know how like you're not like chosen tolerant, but you feel like any large quantity of dairy kind of kind of makes you gassy. I'm just hoping that doesn't happen to me right now. But if you think that's gonna stop me from drinking this, you are very mistaken. Um, if you guys decide to Oh no. Okay, now I'm just burping lots. Sorry, but maybe uh, milk was a bad choice. <laughs> if you guys do decide to try and recreate it though, which I highly advise because it is delicious, I'd say, now thinking back to it, it kind of gives the effect of like having ice cream in an iced coffee, like that extra bit of thickness, but it's no ice cream. I mean, it's still like a whole spoon of sugar, but it's no ice cream. Uh, but if you guys do try and recreate it, please send me photos, post it in my Discord. I will leave it linked down below. You guys are all welcome. It is delicious, it is tasty. I wouldn't recommend too many of them because it is a whole spoonful of sugar. And that is a lot. And I've probably had too many coffees for today. And can you tell because I feel like I'm cooking really fast and I'm gonna be getting a little bit jittery and... I don't, I, ne I never need two coffees. I don't. It sends me loopy. And milk was not a good choice. I should have had the non-dairy alternative, but look, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. And I'm kind of curious as to whether or not you can make this without the sugar in it, because I mean, that'd be a really bitter whip. But I do understand that I don't usually have sugar with my coffee. The only reason I put it with an iced coffee is because that's the only time that I like to add any, any kind of sweetness to my coffee. I kind of want to try it, but I don't want to waste any more coffee and I don't need another coffee. I'm not going to try it. Maybe another time. I'll keep you posted. And because my brain works in mysterious ways, um, I'm going to sign off with my usual Twitch sign off instead of just saying goodbye. Because that seems to be how I wrap up conversations now, regardless of whether or not I'm streaming, if it's in real life, or if it's filming for you guys. So I hope you guys... Oh my god, the burps have begun. Help. But thank you guys so much for hanging with me today. I hope you have a lovely morning, noon or night, wherever you might be in the world. And I'll see you next time. Bye.